Welcome back, everybody. Derek Sue, your East Oakland advocate. Well, <laughs> more bad news for the city of Oakland and Mayor Shang Tao. Well, yesterday, the uh, 911 uh, emergency call system for Oakland uh, has been <laughs> in bad shape for some time. Uh, and uh, yesterday, they, they were given notice that uh, they could lose their funding for the operation because they are so slow at picking up the uh, line <laughs> when you call 911. Uh, and that's no surprise to me because I've experienced it personally. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, give you a tip on how to get an operator to call you uh, right back. So anyway, <clears throat> Uh, Oakland 911 uh, typical uh, uh, emergency response time. You know, uh, I thought 15 minutes was bad when I was uh, living on the streets, and then now uh, here I am. Now, I am housed now, but the difference is is that uh, the uh, response time has gone from 15 minutes to 20 minutes, so it's gotten worse, and there's a big shortage of. 911 operators at the emergency call center. There are 54 uh, that were hired uh, that are currently going uh, under uh, uh, 911 training uh, 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 classes and, and learning how, how to uh, deal with a lot of the different calls. But uh, the, uh, the required uh, response time, when you call 911, they are supposed to pick up within 15 seconds 95 percent of the time that is that is the standard that uh, 911 and the state uses for uh, picking up but oakland comes nowhere near that and uh, we're talking 15 minutes 20 minutes just to get an answer and, and so they're about to lose. Uh, they've been given one year to remedy the situation right now. And, and uh, uh, who knows what's going to happen in a year. If they lose funding for 911, what happens? Does the state take over the 911 call system? We don't know. Because uh, could it could it, uh, just everything be going to the Vallejo uh, CHP? Uh, that's where... Um, highway 911 calls go to uh, and cell a majority of the cell phone uh, uh, calls go to. Uh, Oakland was supposed to have implemented uh, the uh, cell phone into the its own Oakland 911 call center but when I call uh, I am always transferred so that tells me that uh, my call was picked up at, uh, by a 911 operator uh, in Vallejo, the CHP, and then they bounce me back to either Oakland Fire Department or uh, Oakland Police Department. Uh, so that's what's happening right now. So the 911 system, unless you're on a landline, uh, that's the only way you really get through. But here's um, a tip <laughs> that I found works. <clears throat> uh, when you call 911 and you don't get a response within a minute, or two minutes, hang up and, and just let the phone ring. Uh, come back and ring because it will. Uh, the system automatically has a call back and it will call you back. And, and if a person is not on there uh, within another minute, I hang up again. And then usually by the third time I found you actually have a person that, that is live and calling you and, and wants to talk to you. And so that means, since it's a cell phone, that it is uh, the CHP in Vallejo, their 911 call center. And so after that, they bounce things back to Oakland or whatever city you may be in. But uh, um, right now, Oakland... For the, the 15 seconds requirement, they only uh, operate at 46% of the time 
they pick up within 15 seconds. And so it's, it's ridiculous. And, and um, it goes back to, again, one of the worst run cities uh, in America. And that is Mayor Shang Tao. She was uh, unqualified for the job. She, she ran on it uh, just for her own personal gain uh, because she brought nothing to the table. And the people that uh, surrounded her gave her bad advice, and now we're we're feeling all of that uh, bad advice. You know, she when she first came in, uh, she fired the uh, terminated the uh, suspended house uh, homeless uh, um, director, and uh, that was Daniel Cooper on January seventeenth. So shortly after she took office, she fired the homeless. The person who was supposed to help with all the homeless issues, I can. There's a story there uh, that I I think I've spoken about uh, why uh, that happened. But then also we had uh, she terminated Laron Armstrong just a few days later, and so we've been without a police chief. And, and right now it's only been a couple of weeks since uh, the police commission actually got off their asses and started looking for a new police chief. And Laron Armstrong's already uh, filed a suit against the city for wrongful termination, which I expected him to do because it was wrongful termination. That was just a personal grudge that she did on Laron Armstrong because he was a carryover from Mayor Schaaf's administration. But it took Oakland, it took Oaklanders oh, decades to get the kind of police chief that Laron Armstrong is. And I still support, you know, former police chief Laron Armstrong. And so a lot of the crime, because we don't have a police chief, we don't have anybody uh, who is doing anything. You know, what they're doing, they're just chasing fires, the, our police. They're not getting ahead of anything. And, and we try and give them tips to, to make, let, Oakland police get ahead of some of these criminals because we have that kind of info and we've been passing that on. And unfortunately, you know, the police do their part, but then our stupid <laughs> DA, uh, she's releasing these people. And these are, are people who have, if you owned uh, a vehicle that was stolen in Oakland, uh, this group was probably had possession of it and it was probably down here on 77th Avenue uh, being stripped, you know, especially if it was a Kia or a Hyundai. Uh, but then they started getting into Land Rovers and BMWs and Mercedes. So there was, uh, <laughs> it's been crazy, but uh, we had them off the streets for 16 days and then you know, they started getting released from Santa Rita. Uh, and some of them should have stayed in there. Uh, so far, the most dangerous one, the one with the gun, you know, he's he hasn't been spotted yet. But you know, I I expect him to be out, you know, probably thirty days. You know, so that's our just injustice system right now. But uh, there's no accountability, not even at the mayor's level. All she does is deflect. And she said, I inherited these problems. So, no, you didn't inherit them. You helped cause those problems in the first place by cutting their budgets. You And then you were one of those idiots that were saying, defund the police. You and Nikki Fornutato Bass were screaming that defund the police. That's why you have crime the way you have. And if it wasn't for your stupid mouth running back then, we may not have not be in this situation and so there's there's just not nothing uh and, and you know i i'm going to continue to bad mouth her until she does something smart thanks for joining me today we'll be right back